Professor Thomas Lindell from the Braunschweig University of Technology is looking for new medicinal substances in another area, the world's oceans. Why do you look down there in the oceans? Well, the oceans are a special environment. There are reefs which are covered with marine invertebrates. So the, these are sessile animals like sponges and corals, and they can't run away. And so they are relying upon uh, chemistry for communication and also for defense. You also, of course, have uh, very different conditions with uh, little light. You have lots of water pressure. Does that influence their chemistry too? Uh, currently, one does not have the impression that there is too much of a difference. So Normally, the organisms are collected in the area between 10 and 30 oh, okay. meters below surface. There's still light, but there are, of course, also uh, marine animals yeah. deeper. So it's actually their weapons you are looking for. And how many yeah. have you found down there? Well, overall, there are about 25,000 uh, marine natural products known, mm -hmm. and they have been isolated over a time period of about 40 years. So mm -hmm. that's not much. 25,000. And how many of these substances have really gone into medicinal use then? Well, currently there are about four substances approved for clinical use. Um, and there are, well, more substances in the pipeline. I think current, the current number is 13 that are in clinical testings. That is very, very little. How do you proceed to pick these substances from all the ones you suspect down there? Well, if you look at the process of uh, isolation, structural oxidation, uh, of course, one has to first extract the organism, then one has a mixture of many compounds and slowly go through different steps of a process mm -hmm. called chromatography. And there are single substances ideally at the end of the process. Mm -hmm. And of course, then one has to find out the chemical structure. Mm -hmm. And can we actually hope for maybe that one killer substance against, can against cancer? Well, I would say no, <laughs> because cancer are many diseases and uh, uh -huh. uh, we would be happy to have compounds which specifically act on certain cancers and uh -huh. against certain cell lines. But these natural substances actually have certain advantages if you compare them to the synthetic ones? Well, of course, they have evolved in an organism that basically uses a similar primary metabolism as a human being. So they are designed in the end for interacting with proteins and amino, mm -hmm. amino acids and uh, ribonucleotides mm -hmm. and so on. And so um, one hopes that natural products uh, have better effect than any synthetic compound uh, synthesized arbitrarily. Mm -hmm. um, and but, of but course, actually, statistics say this yeah, in the end. But we actually do know that in the body there are certain targets for uh, certain illnesses. So why don't you just synthesize these special molecules in order to hit those targets? Why look down in the oceans? Well, of course, there are ways to propose molecules that may act. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, if you have a substance and give it to an organism, to a cell which dies, there are also mechanisms that are unknown. Uh -huh. And these mechanisms have to be analyzed then. And for that, we need to change the compound by chemical synthesis in our group. Uh -huh. And so uh, we try to find first the proteins where they bind to. I understand. I wish you lots of luck with your work in all of our interests too. Thanks a lot for the Thank talk. You.